verse 18. Let's see, let's see Jesus quoting this in Luke. Uh, so Jesus says, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to thee. The gospel to thee. The gospel to thee. What do the poor need much more than money? Now, excuse me, should the poor be supported with money? Yes. Can they be helped? Can they be, yeah. Can we give arms to the poor? Yes. But what do they need above the money we give to them? A reorientation. They need to be taught. They need education. Life education. Financial education. Especially as taught by the word of God. So you see what, 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 what he did. And we know he gave physically to the poor. So this is not an excuse to not give the poor. We know he gave the poor because he sent someone one time and the others thought, oh, maybe he sent him to give something to the poor because he often gave to the poor. He often gave to the poor. He couldn't be poor giving to the poor anyways, but he often gave to the poor. The Bible states that clearly that he often gave to the poor. Now, but what the poor need much more is teaching. They need education. Give a poor man one million and give him one week. He will go back to his previous status. You know why? He doesn't know enough to make the right financial decisions. He acts on impulse and his emotions. He really doesn't know what those who have money do. He doesn't know how they think. He buys out of panic. They buy out of calculation. Concerning the Proverbs 31 woman who was financially wealthy the bible says she considered a field and bought it but a poor man will buy just because he has the money to buy it the woman considered she checked proximity nearness to this and that and that what now what do i want to do i want to plant a vine okay plant a vine what industries will need what i have this industry that industry that one okay nearness to market to the market okay this and then how do I do that now the next five years what will be the value of this land where's the city spreading to this is a good land I'll buy this one I will buy it. she considered it now the rich make informed decisions the poor make emotional decisions so you give him 1 million and he's going to use 950,000 to buy a used car 45,000 to service it 5,000 to fuel it and by the next three days is raising money for fuel before long his tires are worn and he can't change them so you know one tire 35,000 oh boy man and no fito. and buy and buy and buy he's going to have to sell the car or maybe it's going to park as a scrap so he goes back to where he was before he had one million give a, a rich man or a potential rich man when i mean a rich man here not necessarily that he has become so because wealth starts from the inside wealth can be measured by how you think give him one million and he will think he will spend more time thinking than wishing for the things to have he would think and then make an informed decision he would think about how to multiply the money.